And Donny, can we start with team news? Have you got any injury concerns? Anyone coming back? Uh, we have. We still don't know so with some players. Uh, we are training uh, this afternoon, and especially with Dom, that for sure you will ask me for for him. I think uh, he 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 couldn't train yesterday, uh, and we'll see how he comes this afternoon. And he will he will he will try for sure, but uh, we really. Uh, don't know you. Um, Tyler played 25 minutes or so in the week. How's he responded to that, and what are the next steps? Yeah, it's one of the cases we're waiting. How he he comes after playing his first minutes after a lot of time being out, and uh, the medical team is monitoring his status, his feelings, uh, and uh, we will take the decisions according to how he how he feels. In general, I know the mood wasn't bad by any stretch, but has the win on Wednesday given everyone a lift? I think there are different competitions for the good and the bad. I think different competitions. We wanted to be in the next round, and uh, with the win, we are there. We we earned the, our spot. Now we will be facing Liverpool next round, but we, now we have to focus again in the league. We come from a frustrating defeat in, in Brighton. We are also this week facing a very good opponent that hasn't lost uh, and uh, we have to, to try to maximise our options, give us a chance and we have to be very good for this. The first 45 minutes of Brighton was excellent, very clever strategy that um, gave you the better of the, the game. How difficult is it coming up with a similar one for Arsenal when you have that midweek match as you had this week? Yes, it's always tough when you play it's because the, the schedule is really tight, but it's the same for Arsenal. I am sure uh, Mikel will be in the same position with some players that he doesn't know if he, they will play, they will not. Uh, changing some 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 players from the starting 11s where well, we have to be ready. We have to prepare well for the game. I think um, we have to keep doing the things that we did, like as you said the other day against Brighton, but we have to try to be more more efficient yeah what have you made of arsenal's start to the season they have they have been really really good i think uh, they haven't lost even the games they tied i think they were more close to winning those games and uh, they've they are powerful they they always they know they, they control the game normally long stretches of possession but they have some toughness with Declan Rice, I think Havertz physically also. They are now a stronger team and it's an, a difficult opponent, yeah. We know you've known Mikel for many, many years. Can you take us back, give us a history lesson, your, your first memories of him? Uh, we know each other since we were kids, kids, eight, nine, ten years old. and We've played a lot together, but it's true that uh, our careers as football players, as coaches, have gone in completely different uh, routes. He's been um, almost all his career here in, in England. I've been almost all my career in La Liga. So it's really the, the first time we're going to face each other since, I don't, know, 30, I don't know how many years ago. He said this morning in his press conference, you were the best player in that team at sort of 12, 13. Is that true? No, not at all. Not at all. He was the first one to leave and he signed for Barca. Normally with his age, I think he went with 12 years old, something like this. It's not normal that uh, Barca signs 12-year-old player from San Sebastian. So for sure he was better. That's a headline, Andoni. Andoni Arreola says Mikel Arteta is a liar. <laughs> in this case, in this case, I think so, yeah. Um, with your existing relationship, did, you, did he give you any advice or information about working in England when you arrived over the summer? No, we talked uh, in, the, in the managers' meeting, we, we, we departed, we were talking also with other managers. But I think uh, when you become a manager, you try to keep... Uh, you don't want to, to disturb the others, you know. I do this, the, the, my uh, my things this way, and for sure he's thinking the same. No, each one has to prepare as 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 good as 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 he can for 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 the season, for the games, and that's what we try to do. 
the way he has progressed the Arsenal team over three years or whatever has been quite extraordinary. Is he? Are his teams one of the the ones that you watch for ideas, try to take things from? No, he has changed a lot. Uh, the team, uh, players-wise, uh, style-wise, from his his arrival. But no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say especially this the type of football that uh, it's kind of what we do. I don't think. I think there are other teams that are more kind of uh, more similar to what we try to do. Fair enough. The the big debate around Arsenal at the moment is the the goalkeeper situation. Where do you stand? Is it possible to have two number ones? I see goalkeeping in the same like the other positions. I think we cannot say come here and say no. My first goalkeeper is Neto, and no, it's for this game I will choose. For next game I will choose. For the, I think it's the same. And um, and uh, there are a lot of teams. They are doing very well with playing with two keepers. I've been seeing rotation between three keepers. You never know. You never know what's going to work. I think all the keepers have to be ready to play. All the keepers have to be ready to play. And uh, I don't think it should be something like special. No, uh, the one who we think is going to give us more chances to win the game is the one we we start. Fair enough. Can I just ask about the progression of a couple of your players? Justin Cliver, first of all, he's made an impact in the last couple of games. How happy are you with the way he's developing? I think he he has been improving every game he's played. I think uh, he's uh, doing well when he's starting, with, when he's coming from the bench. I think there is a strong competition in his position. We have a lot of players playing wide that are fighting for, for those two spots uh, wide. And uh, it's a tough decision for me every time we've, we play a game, but it's a good one to have. They know that uh, and they have to to push. They have to be uh, good for the minutes they have. Sometimes will be 60, sometimes 30. Sometimes they will not play. And I will try to choose the the ones that I feel they are in a in a better moment. And with that, you've told us before about how the wingers, especially, are going to be working furiously hard for 60 minutes and then changed. How much are you when you when you're picking your team? Are you already planning your trans? Uh, your substitutions, or is that all dependent on the game situation? Uh, you, you start with an idea, with an idea if we are winning, if we are losing, if we need a result, if we... Uh, but then you you take the decisions from what I see in life. Sometimes you think, uh, you feel like, OK, I cannot take him out because he has been the best. So maybe I, I came from home thinking probably he plays 60 and then or he plays... No, and then you, you take the decisions live. Normally we have a, a plan, uh, more than one plan, but at the end it's uh, the life, the life view, what you feel, what uh, you analyze when you are watching the game, where we can be better, what winger can damage more their fullback. A lot of times uh, against different fullbacks, maybe one option is better than the other. There are different things. The most important thing is the performance, how they feel, but also their style, how he fits the opposition. And Luis Sinistera, we haven't seen much of him so far. How close is he to breaking through, making an impact? Yes, I think it was uh, not unlucky because we knew, but uh, it, it, it wouldn't be it would be good if he would play some minutes against the Stoke the other day. He couldn't, so he 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 has to continue. No, the other day uh, at home against Chelsea gave us good minutes. He finished tired. He needs this, you know, when you change, the probably the trainings are a little bit different, the, the style is a little bit different. So he needs to start uh, winning his, his physical strength because we know that his quality is there. He's very good, especially offensively. He's a difference maker and uh, we, we, we need also him here. Thanks, Antonio. Good luck. Thank you.